Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. Programming your electronic speed control can be done many ways depending on what speed control you have. This particular model, the Avian Smart Speed Control, can be programmed four different ways. You can, you hear a ginger? <laughs> you can program it with the LCD programmer box. You can program it with your home computer. However, you got to have this box in order to do that. So, go figure. But you need the home computer in order to update it. So, anyways, you can do it on the screen of your computer, but the uh, ESC is connected to the programmer box. The programmer box is connected to your computer. You can also program the speed control directly from the screen of a transmitter. However, you need to have a generation 2 and newer transmitter, which is the black transmitters and newer, and it will have to be updated to the latest firmware. You will have to be connected to a smart receiver, bound to a smart receiver, and then your speed control is plugged into it, and everything needs to be updated. Then, directly from the screen of your transmitter, you can program your ESC, and we'll get to that in a couple more videos. Or you can do it the old school way, which is counting the beeps and using the throttle stick of your transmitter. You know, for a quick example, it goes beep, and then if you want to change the parameter in beep one, which beep one is the aircraft type, then you would move the stick down, and that says, hey, I want to change that parameter. Then another series of beeps is the choices inside that parameter, and then you move the stick again to choose that choice. So what I'm going to do is program an option on the speed control while you guys are looking at the program card to kind of follow along and listening and then we'll do the same programming while you guys are looking at the transmitter and maybe you can kind of see how, how it works. The, the best way to learn is just to do it and you're going to screw up and you're going to do it over and over and, and eventually you get it right. You might need a pen and paper, you might need a friend, uh, you know, it's just, it's just patience. Don't let it, uh, don't let it overwhelm you. Don't, you know, at first it's like, oh my gosh, it's beeping like crazy. Let it beep away until you start listening to the beeps and then you're catching up with the program card and finally you hear beep, beep, beep. Oh, that's choice number three. Beep, 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 that's choice four but it doesn't go five beeps for choice five, then it changes to a long beep, and then a long and two shorts. And, and eventually you'll start listening and you'll start seeing and you'll get caught up. You know, at first it's overwhelming and then you'll start hearing the beeps and looking at the card and, and you'll, it'll all kind of make sense. So let's, uh, let's program a couple options together and then uh, I'll meet you back here at the, at the table. If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe. Click the like button and leave a comment. And then uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying. Okay, like we just talked about, I'm going to program one choice while you guys are looking at the program card, and then I'm going to program the same choice while you're looking at the transmitter. That way you can see it in both ways, and maybe that will help pick it up. This is something you got to do several times. You might need a scratch paper. Uh, I still goof up at times. You know, this is just something to, uh, to, something to learn, and, and it takes a while. But once you get it, then you got it. So I'm going to plug it up and then I'll just kind of talk through it. And our choices are on the left. And once we select that we want to change that choice, then over to the right is the options. So before I plug it up, the first parameter to change is your aircraft type. When you hear one beep, you move the transmitter stick and that tells it that you want to change the aircraft type. If you want airplane, you will wait till you hear one tone. If you want helicopter, you'll wait for two tones. And then you move the stick accordingly. But I'm just going to do it and talk through it. 
and we will change um, uh, we will change the number of lipo cells. So transmitters on. Throttle is at full blast. I'm plugging in the plane. That's programming mode. That was the first beep. Brake type. Brake force. Voltage cutoff. This is us. I just moved the stick down. We're going to do 4S, so we need to wait for three tones. Three S. Four S. Throttle up. We chose four S. Now we'll do the same thing while you're looking at the transmitter. Okay. Powering on the transmitter. Throttle to the top. We're going to make the same. A choice that we just did. We're going to change it to 4S. Powering the plane. Programming mode. One beep aircraft type. Brake type. Brake force. Voltage cutoff. This is us. One long is for number of lipo. We want three short tones. We'll let it keep on going here. See uh, number five, number of lipo. To change it to 4S, we want three short tones. See three short is 4S. We just chose 4S. Let's go through it again one more time. All right. We're going to choose the 4S again. Transmitter on. Full blast. Plugging in the plane. Aircraft type. Brake type, brake force, voltage cutoff, number of lipo, to change it to 4S, number of lipo, we want three short tones, okay, we're on, we're on number five, three short tones is 4S, so listen. Auto, 3S, 4S, we'll go through it, 5S, 6S, 3S, 4S. We just chose 4S. So that's how it goes. All right, let's do one more setting. Looking at the program card and then looking at the transmitter the same. And we'll do brake force, okay? And we'll take it to level one. So we want three short tones. Once we enter into changing the brake force to choose level one, two short tones, all right? Transmitter's on. Throttles high, plugging in the plane. Program mode, 
aircraft type, brake type, throttle stick down, Throttle stick back up. So that was that was choosing the level one on the brake force. All right, transmitter going on. Throttle at high. We're going to do the same option, which is brake force. Three short tones. Pull the stick down, and then we want to wait for two tones. And then we'll push the stick back up to select level one. Plugging in the airplane. Listen. Programming mode. That was airplane. Brake type. Brake force. We want two short tones in order to change it to level one. One. Two. We just change it to level one. Okay, now I'll do a, a programming by myself and you guys just watch and that'll just kind of give you assurance and, and uh, a pat on the back that you know you can get better at it you know once you do it a time or two so let's uh power on the transmitter throttle goes to high plugging in the plane We're in transmitter and programming mode. Brake type. Now, inside brake type, let's go for uh, choice number three, which is three short tones. So I just changed the brake type setting to proportional. I had to wait a couple minutes to get caught up and start counting the beeps and realizing where I was at. So now it's going back through the, lo the list of choices, right? Let's, uh, let's go to number five, one long tone. Now we'll go motor rotation, two longer. Right there. Now we're in motor rotation. We only have two choices, clockwise or counterclockwise. One beep is uh, clockwise, two beeps is counter. So let's do counter. Counterclockwise. So it just it just takes time. That's all it does. Boom. All right. Hey, maybe you notice I got a new hat. I went and did something a little, a little different today, which was cool. I got to see my cousin. That's in town from Las Vegas. She was celebrating her fiftieth uh, birthday, and they wanted to celebrate it, or she wanted to celebrate it in uh, Nashville. So I went downtown and I met them at the Ryman Auditorium, and we took the tour. And uh, I did it one time, a long time ago, with my dad. And this time, I either forgot how it was or it was different. 
but it was really neat. We got to see a video, and then we got to go, uh, um, like, we got to go on the stage and take a picture, plus we got to walk around in the entire uh, concert hall or what have you, and I was about to say behind the scenes, but we did go behind the scenes of, like, the booth where all the electronics are, you know, when you're at a concert, and the very back is the guys with the, the board that does all the mixing for the sound and stuff. We got to see all that. And there was band members like getting ready for like the tonight's show, which happened to be Vince Gill. So that was really cool. I'll show you guys a couple couple clips of that right now. All right, hey guys, that's all I got for this one. So you guys will get it down, you'll you'll figure it out, and that method is how all the other ESCs work. Now the beeps. Count, the counting might be different, but that's that's how it works for you know Hobby Wing and uh, all of our E-Flight ESCs that might say Pro on them, or the green ones that are in the hard case, they program like that. So uh, you you can make make all those choices and, and program the other speed controls too. And if you don't know if it's programmable or not, start with your throttle all the way high. Take your prop off, plug it in. If you hear that, you know it entered program mode. So you can you can make some uh, make some tweaks, and then uh, you know always figure out the last the last step is how to put it back to default, just in case you need to. So that's all I got for this one. Hey, I appreciate it. If uh, this helped you out in, in any way at all, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. That's the best way to support what I do. All right, guys, hey, happy flying. I hope you have a good rest of the weekend. And until next time, you'll see me here. Right there. Adios.